museum. Sunday mornings are the perfect opportunity to take a bike ride in the greatest city of the world. Right, Rock? Uh, he's not talking. I'm going to ride around the city, and since there's nobody out, I can take longer shots of things. So come, let's hop on my Blue Johnson and take a ride around Philadelphia. This is awesome because I've been at the Rocky statue now for five minutes. Nobody's here. Ain't no lady yelling at me or hitting me. You know what? You're classy. You're a classy lady. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so let's go for a bike ride. And it's never far away Like dropping bombs in massive rain I guess I'll have myself a beer Shadows that are never there And piercing voices through thin air Is it time to leave us all alone? This is the American Red Cross building at 22nd and Chestnut. And uh, somebody did this. I wonder if uh, whoever drew those swastikas. I don't know. I wonder if they have grandparents that fought in the, uh, or great grandparents or whatever. I wonder if they had any relatives who fought in World War II. And I wonder how they would feel about it. I'm sure they would be thrilled. Assholery is in full force. Somebody's going to have to empty this trash. Somebody probably working in the city. Somebody who is deemed an essential worker. So this poor guy's got to work picking up people's trash. We all see that this trash can is packed. There is a trash can right there. It's, it's completely empty. Can we just... Can we stop being assholes for just, just, look, until this is over. If you see a trash can, full. Don't, don't, and don't put shit on top of it. You're not in West Philadelphia, but you are looking at the basketball court that Will Smith was playing basketball at in the beginning of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. This is the basketball court where I think he hits a guy in the head with a ball. This is a Roberto Clemente playground. This is the house from the movie Trading Places. Uh, it starts off as Dan Aykroyd's house, and then it becomes Eddie Murphy's house later on in that movie. I hope you're glad with what you did, but you just don't seem to care. I guess I'll catch you in the rear view. Knocking on this DSP door, watching TV on the couch. I guess I'll catch you in the rear view. It's 6 30 in the morning, so I, I gotta I can't I gotta be quiet. I gotta use my indoor voice, which is louder than most people's outside voice. So this is Washington Square. William Penn originally named the square the Southwest Square. He was a Quaker. Quakers don't believe in naming stuff after people. Right? So this was called the Southwest Square. In the 1820s, uh, they changed the name of the park to Washington Square. So there's the statue of Washington. And right here is the uh, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and the Eternal Flame. The unknown soldier is not the only person laid to rest here. The park is a mass burial ground. People who died of the yellow fever epidemic are buried here. Soldiers from the Revolutionary War. And that's what this plaque here tells you. In memory of the many American soldiers who, during the war for independence, died prisoners of war in jails of Philadelphia and were buried in this ground during the years of 1777 and 1778. Washington Square is also home of the Bicentennial Moon Tree, which is no longer up. There it is, the stump of the moon tree. In 1975, the moon tree was planted. Uh, it was part of a science experiment where NASA took a bunch of seeds up into space and they went to see which way the roots would grow. This is our second moon tree. First moon tree died and we took a 
I don't know, a limb of it, and we planted a second moon tree, and that tree was taken down earlier last year. This is a horse fountain. There was one summer in the late 1800s where it was extremely hot. Horses were dropping like flies. They started this fountain foundation where people would donate money and they would build these fountains to give horses water. And I think this, this side was for dogs. Seven AM in Washington Square. Let's hop on my blue Johnson and see what else we can see. When I was a freshman in high school, Raiders starter coats were were like the hottest thing. I think this still happens now, but it, it was a real it was a it happened all the time in the nineties. People would jump you to steal your jacket or your sneakers. And I always wondered about that, especially sneakers. You're taking a gamble. What if, what if that guy's a size eight and you're stealing a, and you're a size 10? Why do that? So we were walking up this street one day and a gang of like five kids circled around us. It was, it was really scary. It was five guys all around me. And it, might, it had to be freshman year because I had a knife on me. And I pulled out my knife and I said, all right, you mother... <laughs> Who wants some of this? And they wanted my jacket. They, they were like, give me your jacket. Give me your jacket. And that's when I pulled out the knife. I was like, you ain't getting this jacket. Who wants some of this? All circled around me and beat me up. Took my knife. But I got to keep the jacket. And I only got one good, one good punch in the face. One good punch in the face. But I got that story. So uh, I'll take a punch in the face 20 years ago. I know. 93, 91, 01, oh, 11, 30 years ago. Oh, wow, 30 years ago, I got punched in the face on the street. Okay. Look at all the holes we dug and cover ones we don't like with the rug. And let someone else take the pain with the fall. There's a turkey on top of that light. I hope you're glad with what you did, or you just don't seem to care. I guess I'll catch you in the clear view. New York City can have the pizza rat, but Philadelphia has a rabbit raccoon holding a soft pretzel. We've returned safely to the streets of Bridesburg. All right, well, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll sail with you later. Turtles! Getting smaller in the rear view. Getting smaller in the rear view.